We're following breaking news, and tonight all eyes are on Fordham University on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, where sources say police have started clearing the encampment there inside. We have Newscopter 7 with Shannon Sonnen in it above the scene. We also have our Lindsay Tuckman. She is below on the ground with the very latest. Let's get right to her. Lindsay. Yeah, Bill, things have been changing by the minute at this point. We've been here all day where protests were rather peaceful, peaceful throughout the day, but there was an encampment set up, and this is what makes it unusual and different from the other protests that we've been seeing. The encampment was inside a building from the start. We are being told by police sources that some arrests are starting to may, be made, but we can't see them because it is inside. I'll show you what it looks like right now. The protesters that were out here, about 100 or so, I would say, have since left. Once the police arrived, they decided to disperse and have moved to other parts of Fordham University's Lincoln Center campus here. But you can see that blue tarp right there that was just put up by administrative uh, workers here at Fordham University so that people couldn't see into the windows. Oh, it looks like they're pulling that tarp right down, which will surely not be met happily by uh, the officers who are here on the scene. There are several dozen police officers, including officers in riot gear, who have been authorized by the school to be ready to make arrests if needed. You can see they're moving right now. There are several dozen just in front of us at this moment that do have their zip ties at the ready. Earlier today, we did see those hundreds of protesters outside. They're calling for the administration to divest from companies connected to Israel and disclose where their tuition dollars are going amidst the war in Gaza. They've been chanting phrases like disclose, divest, we will not stop, we will not rest, as well as free, free Palestine and intifada revolution. That's a phrase commonly used by protesters fighting for Palestinian freedom, but it is also associated with violent terrorism against Israelis and Jews. Also, this is all following uh, arrests happening yesterday at other New York schools that had encampments set up, and it does appear that they are following in their lead. We did speak with some students here who say they saw all those arrests happening and they do not care. They are willing to be arrested if that's what it comes down to. We also spoke to counter protesters. I know they will not leave until we get something done. They were working on um, some sort. There was a conversation earlier between them and administration, but I don't think they really came to any resolution at all. And so we are going to stay here <laughs> until we literally cannot anymore. We are okay with the possibility of mass arrest. We are okay with the possibility of suspension. I'm here for the Jewish students so that they know that there are people here to support them. Um, I, they're just misinformed, and it's sad that you know all you know if they want to say they want to be for human rights it starts you know it doesn't start with the hostages it's but that's that's the trigger point and by ignoring that you're you're missing the point now again, again, things have remained consistently peaceful here throughout the day, despite the presence of these riot police and the officers who have been here throughout the day. But again, these protesters were here for several hours today, chanting and even banging on the windows where their fellow students were inside the encampment behind the glass walls there. Again, we have learned that some protesters within the encampment have been arrested, but we cannot see from this vantage point what is going on inside. The protesters that you see there just returned. They had walked around the block, perhaps to block other exits or entrances. We're not exactly sure at this point, but the police are ready. They have put these barricades up and they have blocked the street to cars. So at this point, again, things are calm, but they are at the ready in case things do escalate like we have seen at other schools. We also saw some students did get suspension letters from the school. Reporting live on the Upper West Side, Lindsay Tuckman, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Lindsay, thank you very much. You could see those NYPD officers who are ready to move in following with those protests. Protesters. Stefan Kim is also with those protesters monitoring the situation. He is joining us now with the latest from his end. Stefan. Well, Liz, let me give you the lay of the land here. We were with Lindsay on that side. That was 61st Street. When that blue tarp went up, that's when we know, that's when we know sources say a small number of students were arrested inside that encampment. The protesters outside obviously knew what was going on. Then they broke off. We followed them. Let me take, give you a look here. This is 62nd Street. What they're doing now is they've broken off into several different small groups to block every entrance and exit. I'm going to have Bert here pan to his left. If you see this entrance here is 
fortified by a line of police officers. Uh, you can hear protesters saying, uh, quote, these police officers have radios. Uh, they're going to block every entrance. So they've fanned out essentially to do the same. I'm, I'm going to have you turn around now to 62nd Street. 62nd Street, by the way, is still open to vehicular traffic. So police are trying to keep protesters out of the street, but they're flooding 62nd Street now. And I'm going to have you come pan back this way. They've slowly moved that line closer and closer to the sidewalk to keep these protesters out of the street. So we're looking at more than 100 protesters here. We knew something was imminent because at one point the NYPD moved all the press off of 61st Street. Uh, something was obviously happening. And then we saw bags of zip ties arriving. I think protesters at that moment also knew that something was happening. So that's when they broke off and moved around the building. There are around several exits here. They even blocked an entrance momentarily where we saw top NYPD officials exiting, leaving campus grounds. Rounds. Back to you guys. All right, keep us posted, Safan. Good reporting from there. Looks very calm there. We want to get to our third reporter on the scene, this time above the scene, Shannon Sona, Newscopter 7. Shannon, it looks very quiet there. It looked quiet where Safan was. It looked to us like it's about getting people out of the buildings, and they weren't worried about the sidewalk. You know, that is certainly what it appears to be. But what we have noticed is when the police went in to get people out of the building, that is when the people came back out onto the street. So we're going to show you this using Street Spotter 7. You can see where these people are looking in the window right now. That is where that blue tarp was up over the window to one of the buildings here at Fordham University. And that is where that encampment was set up. Of course, police tried to go in and clear that encampment. And from what it appears to us, they may have successfully done that. Now, when we were first over the scene a couple of hours ago. What you saw on 60th Street was a huge group of people, probably a few hundred strong. That had completely cleared out for a while. And now you can see there's probably about a hundred or so left. That happened after those police in riot gear moved from the building. But one of the things that has changed, as Safan mentioned, on 62nd Street, it is open to vehicular traffic. You were looking down at West 60th Street at Columbus Avenue, and they have completely shut that down. Now, we've also mentioned that we've seen police with zip ties at the ready to make arrests. There is also a bus on 60th Street further around the building that also appears ready for arrests as well. And you can see police walking along the street. We're just going to bring you to the other side of campus. A few things to note. This is one of the entrances at 61st Street. It is lined with police officers as well. You can see them at the gate allowing people either in or out. And back to where Safan was here on 62nd Street, you'll see probably where the rest of those protesters were that we saw earlier are now on this side. As he mentioned, 62nd Street remains open, but protesters are flooding into the street slightly. And again, a line of officers everywhere where you see students and protesters around the university. Reporting live over Fordham, Shannon Zone, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. You can see those protesters and the officers on the move once again. All right, Shannon, thank you for the update.